probably has a better place in modern because obviously we've seen our fails in historic. So this is our standard Nivjiganfa list. We've basically just swapped out. We're still running the wishboard. We've basically swapped out our Terminator for his Sugu con consumes all. And we're running an additional one on the sideboard here. To keep it under the 100 ticket MTGO budget, I did have to just do a quick swap with the mana base, so hopefully I remember to update the list before I post this video online. But yes, let's. Uh, so here's our sideboard Giganfa, additional cards we can wish for, board wipe, general, massive calling ritual. We're also going to run into Maybe it's redundant to have both, but we'll see how things go going forward. Artifact hate. Search and Graveyard Hate, Combo Hate, Good Removal, and Fractured Removal. Kaya's Guile did so much work in the last video we ran, I'm going to continue running it mainboard until I feel that it doesn't work that way. Sorting by color, we have some move Valky to his true. We have a pretty solid split, we're a bit heavy obviously in Boris because we love our general and want to stay. Uh, Territory of Carver, Wiverbloom Command, we're running Wiverbloom. I am going to do a separate video trying out some of the lands from the um, channel lands. We'll just see how things go for now. We're going to run one Arcane Infusion. I don't want to go too heavy on free drops. I would like to put Wandering Mind here, but I think that us going so heavy on free drops is probably going to be bad in modern. So we'll see how this version of the deck runs for free quick games. All right, we got match one here versus Walked. Let's see what they are playing. Oh, they are playing. Got a bit concerned there. All right, we got a turn two Carvu that we could make potentially huge. We'll keep this. So we have removal and graveyard hate, a late game general, and a two mana five five if we want it. Let's see what our opponent is doing. Carver into birds makes me concerned. We can't bolt the birds, so we'll just pass now. This is probably a Ponza list, maybe. Okay, that's interesting. Not at all what I was expecting. So, if we can get... What do we need here? So, we have... If, I don't think we can make it a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we have to get... We don't have the Jeskai land, so we have to get this one. It's an interesting addition. When it leaves the battlefield, return to free land, Cosmic Graveyard to your hand. It's pretty solid. We will play this untapped and we'll run out our Carvu. Now, if it's a Blood Moon, we are fucked, <laughs> basically, because we fetched for trial. Ren and six. So, is this just a Teemo land recycle deck? They go down to 14, they still have two mana. They have a Ren activation. We're gonna take four here. Because we wanna kill Ren. And if we force them to use interaction on the Carvu, that's pretty solid for us. Plus Kaya's guy will nuke their graveyard if we have to. So, what we're hoping for here. Oh, there's a Ragavan. Let's 
good combat. Let's attack Ren and Six to kill it. When we do that, we would like to exile their land so that if they do kill their thing, they can get no value from it. So they put that in. Okay, they let Ragavan die. That's an interesting choice. Oh, they have a lightning bolt to do that. Okay. We don't have blue for that, which is a shame. So are we in trouble now? We might be. I think our best bet here is to run out general on this turn. Um, force them to use Ren and Six to kill it. Mm, I actually trying to sound big brain. I completely forgot that Ren and Six did that. Hmm. I think they've got us here. Does this land change anything? Um, so this is bloody ironic, but honestly, Terminate would have been better than this. My god, literally, I'm being cursed. I want to prove that this card could work. But my god, we have been hit very aggressively here with um, oh, I don't even know I feel that Kaya's Gal could still work okay yeah I threw that pretty hard with the general into the uh, red and six I should have probably worked but to be fair I was not Alright, this at least gives us a turn to 5-5 five, five, potentially. So, we play this, pass the turn. There's a bird again. Okay, let's crack this. Let's see what our land situation is. So we do have Breeding Pool. So if we get some Video Triumph here, and then we need to get Breeding Pool. We can't get Breeding Pool because I'm a fool. Okay, so we need green. We can play green black here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll play another 4 4. At least that'll let us put some pressure on here. If they just go into Blood Moon, we could just be in trouble. We may have to go and try and play around with the... Uh... They didn't fetch a basic, which makes me think they won't go into Blood Moon. Seismic Assault. Okay. Well, apparently we are all land today, so that'll be fun. Let's crack this, get a basic. We'll move to Ganfer. Thing is, their flooding out and our flooding out is significantly different. Ragavan, oh god, and they're gonna hit a uh, relevant spell, I'm sure. Huh. Of 
course, the one time you show up and we could have used you, you freaking got got by a freaking... Unbelievable. And now we'll get a land, I bet you. Oh no, we've got to bring to light. Okay, so we'll just play this. Pass the turn. Fountain, so we've got blue mana. I don't like that they're not doing anything. So they would have to have rag, they can't physically do it. They would have to have. We'll just see if they have it here. Reload. We'll take the general. We've got plenty there that can do stuff. Okay, we do not need a billion lands. So let's get rid of two of you and we'll get rid of the arc. In infusion. So if he's drawn three lands and a. Uh... Okay, yep. Alright, so seismic assault land. So Kaya's Guile really isn't going to hit it here. I think we bring in the Vanishing Verses, potentially the Fractures. Ritual looks like it could just do work here. Valky is kind of a win more card in this scenario. He's not fetchable though with the so dramatic rescue I think goes. If we Vito's Vito has a place here. My guess is they must have been holding Ragavan and two lands. Maybe they were hoping for a Ren and Six or a way to buy back lands. Alright, Fracture's good. Turn two. Three, three. We can't cast the Fracture though. Then we have to Mulligan. And now we have a land. Okay, I guess we gotta keep this. This depends on us drawing a fetch land or a green. Uh huh, there's Ragavan. Play that. That's the turn. If you hit a non land, I'd be really happy for me. Yep, there's Fracture. I don't care about that. I need lands. <laughs> there's Life from the Loam. Now I've took out my Graveyard Hate. Of course. Uh, of course. Will Vanishing versus the Ragavan here. I would love to have Witherbloom commanded it, but like I said. <laughs> so 
Takes all the Ragavan. They have interaction. Oh nope, they don't. Fine with that. Team Assault though, it's pretty cool though. My guess is they're gonna pay Cass, what's it called? Yep, there's Blood Moon. Seismic Assault doesn't bother us, we'll just add this. Well, we'll play another one past the turn. I wonder if Blood Moon does... I mean, they could just be holding a ton of, uh... So we could try for Gigant for here. If it gets killed, we could just be in trouble, so... Let's just cast him. As I've said, it's weird that they're running Blood Moon in this deck. I would have thought that they'd be way more. Oh, okay. Because I've got to say, I didn't see really any basics out of them in the first two games that I remember. Cycling. Okay, we got a green as well, so we are pretty much sorted. So we've hit off the first basic. We're gonna use this. We're gonna use off. Oh, look. <laughs> yep, so we beat an opponent for blood. Let's see if they say anything about it. Nope. Why would you Blood Moon? This is my advice to anyone who runs Blood Moon against a player with Gigantha. Unless you have like Unholy Heat or Removal for the Gigantha, and you have your own basics, like, why? Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna stop. Move on to the next game. Alright, we're up against Shadow Void here. We're trying to see if we can make Hisugu's consuming all work. But our first match was against a Lands deck. <laughs> which was very, very interesting. Okay, you know what, we're gonna keep this because it's a ton of lands and based on the modern beginning of this system, it could be interesting. So, game one, we made a misplay and lost ourselves, and then games two and three, I think our opponent did more to defeat themselves than we actually did to defeat them, which is hilarious to me. Dark Slick Shores. I'm gonna pass. See what we top deck. Another land. You know what? We are now sorted for casting spells if we uh, get Blood Moon again. Hold on, let's pop again for out. I had it in because of the commander. Let's put that there so remember we have him. Okay. Ancestral Visions, is this a fairy stick? Alright, so let's just crack this, get... Injure Trio? No, hold on, we get Savinia Triome, right? Yeah, we'll get the Savinia Triome. We'll use this. Pay to life. Then we'll wither bloom command. You and you will lose. Black and green. The irony of this is, if he thinks we need the fetch land desperately, we don't. We literally just want to mill his deck a little bit, see what he's doing. He did mull down to three. It'd be hilarious if he um, fought, he counters this, then fort seizes us, and sees that our entire hand is basically just. Yeah. 
No, I don't care about getting that back, mate. Uh, if you saw my hand right now, you would know why. This could be fairies, I guess. Fairies would be interesting. I haven't fought fairies for a long time. Yep, there's fairies. He's got one card in hand. Do we have a way to answer this off the top? Would be great if we could. I also realize because, okay. We'll just play this. Pass the turn. We got a problem if our opponent can get that Ancestral off before we can draw a relevant card. Okay, so he's got one card in hand, but what is it? You know what, I kind of... What we're gonna do here, use this. We'll get this untapped. You know what, we'll just run it out for fun. Because I want to actually see this card do something. Okay, so they lose their bit of Blossom Token. Next turn we will exile all graveyards. This could be quite relevant actually, because if their card in, in their um, thing is... Okay, alright, we will play a land, and we'll just go for this now. If they have the counter, they have the counter. We have something on the field that can threaten already. Appear that they do or something, so we'll just cast Niv Mizzet. Reload! Kill spell in their hand. Take the Glittering Wish with Kaius Guile. Bring to light and another Wither Bloom command. Nice. We'll discard our basic mountain because <laughs> you should always discard the mountain because if through some miracle they have. Alright, they get to draw three cards here. They reveal they have a second bit of blossom, which they cast. Alright, so we need to just flip the bit of blossom. Uh, not bit of blossom, we need to flip our Hitsugu here. Right, so we can play a land. Odds are they have more interaction here, so what do we do? What do we do? We could go for. The wish. Alright, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for this. Controversial opinion here. Let's. If we start with the general, we could wish, but then we can't hold anything up. Alright, we're gonna bait with the general.
can't spell, that's fine. Then we're going to Glittering Wish, which is the one we actually want to resolve. Another spell pierce. That's fine. That puts him down to one. We still have plenty of outs here. So the ancestral bought them very little. You did it too early, buddy. Hitsugu's vessel still has free converted mana cost. I'm sure he's going to uh, question that. That's probably going to be a comment. It's still free CMC. It's still free CMC. Alright, so he has no cards in hand. He's losing two life a turn. He has to leave as many of these back as probably possible. Very lucky here with our current setup because that's yeah you're not gonna win a race like this I don't think buddy okay play this Could Wither Bloom guarantee some damage for you? Yeah, I think that's best. So I want to do this to. Wait, yeah. I would like. We could destroy it. Yeah, okay. Destroy a bit of Blossom. Take out a Fairy Token. Okay, then we can go to combat, attack, I'm assuming he has a flash creature in hand, or did he draw another push, yep, it's fine, okay, so he's got nothing left, I think we now go for the Valky, because that just puts like, the nail in the coffin here. Right, we get another black source, so we get Blood Crypt, untapped, bump, bump, black, white, blue, this is fine because we don't need it to be for five, we will find Valky, God, and we will trig into Tribalt, now I believe that's probably game. I don't want to count my chickens, but us drawing two additional cards, him having to pretty much stay back on blockers with the Fairy Rogue, and our ability to wish again for something else, is probably going to break this game. We got lucky that they didn't get a heavy... Do they still run Cryptica when doing this deck? They still see... He's saying it's uh, because it's flipped over, it's still free. Anyway. How does that work? How does that work? Uh, bring checks the front. Bring checks the front, then you can choose which side to cast. works on all uh, 
double fist. Dear. Dear. Well, that's... <laughs> But it's better than it used to be, trust me. Paying five mana to get a seven mana planeswalker is way better rate than three mana to cascade into one. Go with yield Tibbles again. Revealing. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's cool. Alright, we can play a land off the top of Niv. We'll attack here. Keep the pressure on. Oh, we went down to five. No, unfortunately, we cannot do anything about that here. Goes down to four. I mean, I could just kill him with a lightning helix and then let his bit of awesome do the work. Three, four, five, six. You know what? Let's uh, let's do it for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spell set of sprites. Interesting. Okay. Get this. Let's get this shoved in. Lightning helix. You know what? Actually, that's just lightning helix that face here. They go down to one. Tibble down to thing. There's uh, another copy of the general. Well, we might as well tibble first. Knife on the <laughs> okay. Well, let's play the general. Kind of would have loved to have hit a uh, mm. play this. Just to play tapped. Let's use this. Um, red, green, white, blue, black. Make a 4 4 for the general. Yep. They were dead in upkeep. Okay. Um, fractures. And Vanishing Verses are going to be good in this deck. I don't think Kaya's Guile really performs here. They're going to have a lot of... They want to make a lot of fairies, basically. Calling Ritual is amazing. 
Um, Kane Infusion could come out. Scorn would be pretty decent if we could find it. Kavu. This is strange how you never see some cards sometimes. I think we might take out the wishboard for this game. Although, do we just bring in Ashiyaki? Then we bring in a Clophis. Well, we're gonna take out the wishes. Um, controversial opinion, but the problem with a deck like this is kind of like how it is in control. Is if they just have a counter spell, they will just hold it up and let us tutor, see what we want to tutor, then stop us. All right. Gigantfer. Oh, we can keep this. They kept seven as well, so this could be a very painful deck. Hmm, they did not reveal. We can have a turn two, five, five. Which inevitably means our opponent must have fatal push. Bit of Blossom on turn two. So Savinia Trion, pass the turn. Unless we get a better play option here, which we don't because we can't Niv. So we'll put this into play untapped. And we'll play a big 5-5. Five five. Fairy. He might have took out a push for hard removal like um, Heartless Act, which I know is one that they run. Oh, Mutavolt. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so we are going to uh, attack here. And we are going to... discard a card if we do draw a card. We're going to discard one of the nibs. Did not block, which is interesting. Okay. My guess is they're probably going to want to protect the Bitter Blossom and they're holding up counter spells. So let's bait out the counter spells with. with a Bloom Command. And let's use this, this, this. Black green. Mm hmm. Spell Pierce, that's fine with that. No, no, we're fine with it. Play this tapped. Pass the turn. So there's more of a mutate um, flash package on this. I see, I see. You're still gonna lose the race if you continue down that road.
We could just be in trouble now. We got a much better draw this game. Let's just uh, run out the Yasugu consumes all. Kind of spells fine. We're going to attack. Exile card from his graveyard. We will take away counter spell. To this. Yeah, we honestly need a fracture or one of our exile effects way earlier. The fact that they're not playing lands makes me very concerned because it probably means that they're hitting a lot of interaction. Yeah, I'm not as mad as this is blue white because at least I'm dying. Like, they are actively tempo playing the board. It's frustrating, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get a combat first. Let's attack. Let's exile the card from the graveyard. The fact that he's not playing it though makes me very concerned that he does actually just... White and black. There'll be another counter spell, right? Mystic Dispute, I'm fine with that. We just gotta keep forcing him to have things. they played a land finally. That still means they have a ton of stuff just to mess with us. <laughs> do we go for the Sugu here or do we go for the General wins us the race quicker. Alright. We start with the general. To bait out the counter spell. Stutter Sprite. Okay. That comes in. This is one, two. Okay. Is this still a fairy rogue? No, I think it's an octopus. So if I dramatic rescue this. Does the general resolve then? Oh, 
Oh, of course, they'll have another counter spell. C dash is octopus. That's not going to work. It's still. Then you only have two fairies. And the general will resolve because you. Yeah. Okay. Strange choice. Strange choice. Sure, there might be a question about that. Nope. No blocks there. Interesting. The beauty of this now is, unless he specifically has multicolored removal. Ugh. It's going to be very hard for him to kill the general. Unfortunately, if we can just keep... Yeah, you have to try and race here. was a really strange decision. It should have mutated it onto the existing octopus. That would have given him double mutate triggers. And we draw. What's this? Click? Okay. And he clicked the misbind. Yeah, I think we are in trouble now. We can attack and force his hand to block. Discard a card, then if we do draw a card. Not good. choice yeah you can have bitter blossom back when you have low life yeah I know it's typical yeah low life and we can't draw the helix <laughs> I mean we discarded two names but we didn't know that the brink to lights Yeah, see, that's what he should have done in the first place. He should have spread that out, actually. Now the... Uh... Itsugo, I think, will be amazing when we go up against... Hammer Time or Ragavan Burn Deck or something like that. Like decks where I know Culling Ritual has been like insane. But just maybe the maybe the um, appearance of Hisugu is enough to deter people from playing them currently. Okay, he's trying to speed up his clock a little bit. 
He's clearly holding on multiple counter spells because he would obviously want to attack uh, with both the um, muters if he was going for a quick win. But obviously he's... Alright, the beauty of this though is, again, because uh, this was supposed to be a quicker game, but he's been playing so defensively, he's literally going to lose on time before we finish game three. shame because it would have been great if we could have um, put in some more time to this. Right, let's just move again for hand, cast it next turn. We are by time here. It is a shame, but it, this is where they need to learn to play these decks. Fairies is... Yeah, I think fairies is harder than control. Control is basically everything in your deck is no, 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 no. So it literally requires, like, of, the con of that tier of decks, it doesn't actually require that much in the way of power. You can just literally go, oh, okay, I... Uh, okay, well, in response, then, I would like to Helix you. And put you down to one life. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he's got the uh, response for this. He was going for the win here with the, uh... Yep, okay. Alright, nothing else. Yeah, the, one of the problems with that deck is... Alright, we'll move on to game three after that grind. The final game three. I did notice, actually, just archiving that recording, that I think the Giganfo won us that match against the Fairies because they believe we had no plays and putting Giganfer into our hand was our play. Um, so they obviously weren't expecting River Bloom on top. If this was any other land but a basic, we'd be fine. We can't keep that. This is, yep, there can be only one general. So, we have River Bloom off the bat that can lead into. Yeah, um, I, I do want to try with Bloom with the uh, command cycle because I think they'll be absolutely insane. Okay, we will go with. Let's go for Windswept Heath and pass the turn. We gotta see what our opponent plays first to make our decision. Well, there's been a prominent featuring of. Uh, Okay, Jund. Jund is good. Prosperous in. Interesting. Interesting. We will get. Let's get the Ketria Trion right, because we need blue and green, because we have. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. So we'll play this untapped. We're going to mill free and then we will kill. Do we destroy the treasure? Okay, let's mill free and then. 
Oh, when does, how does this work? Enters the battlefield, you create a treasure. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, you gain one life. Alright, so what we're going to do is actually, it's going to be controversial. We're going to destroy the treasure. So we'd like you to mill, and we'll kill the treasure to stop your ramp. And we'll get back our fetch land. I don't think Prosperous is going to be an issue for us. <laughs> Prosperous Innkeeper will now completely destroy... Ooh, a cord of Col... Oh my... I instantly fell in love with this player. Kinky Cord was one of the first decks I ever true... Ooh, Gris the Hunger Tive. That's a problem now because now our general is significantly less potent. Um, he still has a sacrifice effect. Okay, um... I say we do this to force this down tick from the, uh, grist. And then if we play the... well, they could have... Hmm. Grist can be shoot. Yep, that's good. That's what I wanted. So you sack the insects to destroy this. I am okay with that. Let's see what else they play. Kitchen Finks. Again, my love of this deck is increasing. <laughs> but to what end? Oh, are they? Oh, Jund, I wonder if they're just um, like an old school. Not old school. No, they, could they be Malira? Cord? Hmm. They are down to two cards in hand, so if we can keep the pressure on here. is thinking. It's going to be another match where Hisuku's thing is useless. <laughs> I don't believe it. Like, we run into Ragavan, Hammer Time, Burn all the time. And then maybe, well, yeah, maybe the course correction is people are playing more CMC2 or higher. Oh my word. Okay, right, we want this grist to go, so here's... I'm gonna have to feed the general to it. Controversial, I know. And if he attacks first, I'm not gonna block. Because I want him to burn his grist. He did not burn it, which means he must be holding interaction for... Okay. Golden Bombardment is red though, so he can't... Uh, can't kill the general. Grist is the one that has to kill the general. In desperation here. Right, we have um, officially drawn a ton of lands game. Can we please have something in the way of some good fortune? <laughs> you... Okay, I am going to concede to this. Wow. You have got to be kidding me. There's a bring to light, like five. Wow. I don't even. Yeah, Sugu's pointless here. Holy crud, was that absolutely terrible. Alright, um. Clovis and Fracture and. 
fracture, I think. Joint rescue can come out. Yeah, no, I um <laughs> drew nothing but lands <laughs> that match. I have I hate when Moto does this. And what I mean by this is I will have a genuinely good, interesting person to play. Someone who's playing something unique and interesting and I wanna see it do stuff. And my deck decide and Moto decides, oh, we don't need to give you any cards. This person's playing a chord deck. Yeah, I know you want to see it, but you know, you don't get to see it. Because you get to die because your deck doesn't do shit. <laughs> okay, we'll let the rat be over now and just go on for a little bit. Good lord. We'll play this. Move on. I got a phone call, so we're gonna have to leave this unprofessionally. Persist combo deck, and I love them for it. Okay, let's with a bloom mill this. Yeah, this. Grum Gully, I 100% love this deck. Where's the negative one counter? We don't have one, obviously, because I just remembered. I'm stupid. Oh dear. Okay. There's the civilian outcast. Yes, they are 100% playing this combo, and I 100% love them for it. So they need a sack outlet, and they're playing Goblin Bumper. I, they're probably going to be very annoyed that we milled that because that is the two parts of their combo. Okay, we'll take this now. Oh, I'm an idiot. We could have uh, fractured that. Oh, well, you know, if they have Malira in hand, they've won. And good. <laughs> okay, they did not have the Malira in hand. We can't go for a Bring to Light here. Hold on, let's view sideboard. We did not bring Culling Ritual into the main board. That's going to be an issue. Because this would be amazing right now. Alright, we're going to have to just hold back here. The problem is we can't both. We could bring... If we bring, what do we bring for? I don't think we bring for anything. I think we have to play around. So the idea is if they're going for the Malira here. Oh, I used to love 
this deck or a version of similar decks like this. This Grum Gully or is this called? Eldritch Evolution. Right, let's fracture the Goblin Bombardments. So they get probably a Malira effect or Grum Gully, I guess. They get a Grist. Right, so what is. Here's how it works. Oh, they put a company on the bottom, that's bad for them. What we need to do... We need to Helix... They got one card in hand. The top deck a company or a cord here. We have to do this now. We have to put a counter on this. So that... If they top deck their combo, they don't instantly... Oh, that could be good. Alright, if we Glittering Wish, we can grab the Ashiok, that would prompt a response I guess, Calling Ritual would also be good, alright we have to play around our opponent, so let's Ring to light for Niv. Grist will then for this will then force him to Grist in response. Reload! But we get to reload. Is it charm? Do we take the fracture of the Kai's Girl? I think we take the fracture. Just in case we don't know the sack outlets though. Kai's Girl. Controversial. Okay, we then pass. Our opponents will then be forced to kill Grist. Use Grist to kill Niv. Oh, we should have took Fracture for Grist. Oh, I'm such a fool. Mm -hmm. So he kills Niv. We're okay with that. Because we can deploy Ignoble High Rock. It's two damage, it's fine. So, hmm. We Temple Garden here. I think we do. We're going to pay two for it. So, if we Carvu, Carvu is it charm, Kaius Guile. Yes, that's the play I like the most. So Carvu with this. Then we can is it charm, Kaius Guile still have a board presence. Or we could is it, we don't even need to is it charm, we could. Uh, Yeah. So they might go for Grist Kill here. Oh, Grist is so disgusting looking, but so cool. Okay, so they're going to sacrifice and kill that. Let that happen. It's fine. Let's do the sideboard again. 
I really need to put in the freaking uh, Right, there's a kitchen thing. Right, before that enters. No, hold on. We let that go first. Let them gain two life. This is Grom Gully, I think. No, it's just another kitchen fix. Okay, so that's their entire hand. Okay. So we take one here. Hold on, wish, general, another card. Okay, yeah, so. I think we nuke their graveyard here. Uh, sacrifice a creature and make a one one here. So we're gonna do it this way because if they want to do if they sack a sphinx, we can still Alright, yeah, so that persists back as expected, yep. Yeah. They gain two life. Then we get to block here to trade off this. Then we can, okay. We'll leave it like that for now. Actually, no, we should be efficient of our mana. So we should, is it charm? Two damage to this to kill this off. Then we can do the Tyrant Scorn uh, slash Tyrant um, advantage here. So we go white, green, glittering wish. We will glittering wish. Office is a good slow burn. Alright, we grab the general here. And what we can do with Tyrant's um, Salvation here is we can, if they top deck a multicolored removal spell for the general, we can cast Tyrant Scorn on him himself. Yeah, we will take the free here. So basically, he also then leaves behind us a 4-4. Four, four. Alright, so they play a land. Alright. We hit a land 2. We will drop a... Clothis. Create a 4-4. Four, four. this point might be enough to pull us back into it. It's going to be a good grind game. But I am super impressed with this guy's deck. I think our opponent is thinking about how to come back best into it here. I'm thinking that we will pro okay, no, our opponent just concedes that we uh, we will probably grind them out here because their chances are mostly invested in the combo. I don't think they utilize their graveyard as much as we thought, so maybe we bring in the vanishing verses because some pieces of their combo are monocolored. Ashiok is also a We'll keep Ashiok there and the Hisugus as a wish target. General, yeah, doesn't perform too well with the uh, thing, but what, what Tyrant Salvation is, or Tyrant Scorn is, because it's, it's one of these cards that doesn't specify 
your creature or an opponent's creature, we can use the return a converted a creature back to our hand to blank a removal spell. But it also leaves us with a 4-4. I mean, we've used a similar trick with the um, dramatic reverse... Nah. Dramatic reverse... Still... Alright. Gotcha, Ganfer. Veto is kind of pointless, but the rest of these cards here are pretty solid. Yeah, removal, destruction, threat. I mean, Veto could catch a uh, potential. We probably get steam vents from here, but that wouldn't let us cast River Bloom Command. Is the turn two Carvu more important? This is like a. Noble Hierarch. Okay, play this. Tap. So they have a turn two grist if they need it. They don't appear to have a play, do they? No, they're going for it now. Oh, this is, ooh, this is, this is brutal. Okay, yeah, we are going to enjoy this. We're a blue command, negative three and destroy a card. Um, destroy Goblin Bombardment, just kill the Noble Hierarch. Dang, that was brutal. They're not out of it, no, I'm 100% aware of that. We could grab a wish here. I th think... Right. I think we grab steam vents, right? Yeah. Steam vents untapped, and we drop our carfu here. Push, yep. So they brought in a bit more interaction to deal with a few more creatures. Although maybe they were running it before and we just didn't know it. Ah, they had viscerous here. Uh, had a feeling. And we drew the Valky. <laughs> of course we did. Alright, green, white. See our sideboard. So if we use the green and the white from here, we're left with black and red. Which is a Rectus Charm, Sugu, Kaius Guile. There are some options. Clarion could be a good one as well. I don't think we wish just yet. I think we will... Put this into play tapped for now. And we'll see what our opponent does on their turn. Okay, they fetch. I think if we can veto a grist. Take one hit here. Yeah, bring to light won't work. Um, not bring to light, sorry. Helix won't work on the viscerous here because it has the ability to sack itself to itself. So it it will force them to not use it if we need to desperation do it. Seasoned pyromancer. Okay. 
In this battlefield, then, the Scott two cards and draw two cards for each online discard this way, create a 1 1. Okay. So they draw two cards. One of them is a land. I would like to helix this now. And the reason we do it now is because it forces them to choose to. Oh, no, they chose to just let it die. We got Fracture, we got Bring to Light. Let's go Ring Wish. Sugu, Hate Out of Graveyards. Yeah, I think we get Ashok. Now we get the Ashok because obviously they have stuff to do with that. Oh, wait, no, turn off. We want to know what their one card in hand is. We're gonna cast Valky. It is a goblin bombardment, okay. So they need a bombardment, a persist creature. So they have the bombardment, they need to draw a persist creature and a sack outlet. Uh, 100% you're gonna trade. Why wouldn't I? They drew a land, are they gonna just exile it? No. Alright, so we know their last card in their hand is the pyro, um, the what you call it. So we need green. Since this goblin bombardment and nothing else is really scaring me right now, I think I go for the Niv here. If I force a Niv, I can't Niv. I need to fetch differently. Oh, I screwed that up so badly. Five. One thing is Golden Bombardment. Alright, you know what? Black. We're gonna ask you. We know that they run cord and we know that they run potentially um, things, so let's just keep their. Right, yes, yeah, so that. Uh, I forgot that it was instant speed. <laughs> they got Ragavan in here as well. So we can counter when they try to play the Goblin Bombardment. So now... Right, there's a Persist creature and they're out of mana. They'll attack Ashiok I think. Oh no, they're going. No, hold on. Going straight at me. They're gonna go for the. Uh, so that was a mistake, I feel. Because now. To do this. Black, white, green, red, blue. I can now grab the Niv. That might can right, so grab Niv Mizzet here. Cast him. Reload. Take a helix. Vanishing verse. Yeah, that's a good hit. All right, let's just use this to just mill more of the graveyard. Then we'll pass the turn. 
We did not hit the glittering wish, which is kind of what I was after, because a wish would let us grab the clarion, which would let us put uh, Shiok. <laughs> that joke dies either way here, so we will block the uh, Fasist creature. Maybe back as a Mormon. Oh, that is perfect, actually. <laughs> we just hit the Glittering Wish off the top. Oh, the opponent concedes. Yeah, I feel that they were assuming that we had a lot more here. All right, move into wrap up. All right, another surprisingly good showing for the Niv deck. Um, I don't think it's positioned like tier one or anything, but it was still fun to play, and we did we had interaction answers for a lot of things. Itsugu consumes all. Let's get the old uh, preview plane up so we can. Ooh, I had it full screen for the previews for Kamigawa. Itsugu that consumes all. There are so many decks where I think this is relevant, but I'm wondering if people are moving away from them because of this this thing's presence. Um, we had a match with fairies where it would have been good. We we got it off once in the fairies game. The Jund uh, Sack combo player Jund Aristocrats was it was a really cool deck, but he just didn't actually run a lot of one drops. I think we saw him with Viscera Seers and lower things than that. Actually, Fracture did more work in keeping that from comboing off there. Um, I still believe, though, that it does have a place. I'm going to try again. I want... I need to find someone who plays Hammer Time and Affinity and test against them, because I think it really does have its place. Like, it, it just hoses, I think, if we could get against those decks. Um, apart from that, though, uh, Arcane Infusion, we didn't cast it again. Is it Charmed? Did some damage on moving creatures. River Bloom Command was clutch. Like, I. People are still sleeping on this card. Like, milling your opponent to get buyback a fetch land. Non land permanence, two or less. Like, come on, that's like. You know, um. That is like. We took out a treasure token. We took out an enchantment. We took out Bitter Blossom. Like,. There's so many things you can hit for two or less. You know, in, in we could, you know, deal with things like that. For negative three, negative one, that kills Esper Sentinels, that kills Ragavans. Like, it is relevant, people. Please play this card. Carvu, always amazing. Absolutely love it. Gotta play more of it. Uh, what else we got? Helix was good. Wish, one of the main reasons I still love this deck. Um, well, not one of the reasons. It is a reason I love this deck and play it to hell. Uh, wish is always going to be powerful, I think, particularly if we can leave a small wish package. One thing I think I might have to do again is maybe put in what the fourth copy of Niv Mizzet into the sideboard because we had some games there where like a wish for a Niv might have been okay. Ashok again, <sighs> obviously getting around the Gigantha because. Honestly, honestly, I just really enjoyed this version of the deck. Um, whether or not Hisuga is main board, there were several occasions there, particularly in our in our earlier games, where removal in the way of Terminator or Dreadbore would have probably been better than Hisugu. Um So it might be a one in the main, one in the side, wish target. We have to see, like, we have to see. I mean, based on the fact that a lot of people were resorting to a lot of two drops there, it would have been um, very fun to play with. Um, and once again, as I've said before, my advice to anyone playing a Blood Moon deck against someone with Gigantha as the companion, have an answer for Gigantha. You know, it 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 is a big boy it's hard to deal with because it's five mana but it fixes everything they need as I mean as you saw with that deck um, the first one we played do not go for a blood moon and think that just because I'm a five color deck I can't play my option is play Gigantha as a soup like 
That is probably one of the situations where Gigantfer is the most powerful. He locks himself out and goes, I'll recover quicker than the five color guy. Only for me to drop Gigantfer and be like, oh no, his mana's perfectly fixed now. And I was going to bring to light for Valky and then just go off from there. Valky is now online a two ticket card. I cannot believe it, like considering it was like 70 at one point. Get your tibbles, everyone. They are still fun to play. But all in all, it's Zugu. Modern, and I think all the formats is your home. But we need to get you into a deck. Like, I'm gonna keep playing probably off camera, and if I find a deck where this Rex house, I'll record it or record the replay or something because I'm I'm determined. Like, I like this the design of this card, so it's gonna work, or I'm gonna break myself trying. <laughs> Enjoy.